Hi, this is Dan at FontSpring talking about installing fonts on your Windows operating system. Um, Windows 7 and up really made it easy to install fonts, but at the very basic level, installing fonts on any version of Windows is actually as easy as dragging the font file into the proper font folder on your machine. But we're going to talk about that a little bit and some other ways to install fonts. First off, we need some fonts. I'm going to jump over here to uh, FontSpring and we're going to use a font called Veneer today and um, a another font called uh, Thirsty Script. Now the first step to installing fonts, and this is a very important step, is to unzip your font folders. On this particular computer, I haven't figured out why, it actually allows me to uh, install fonts from the zip folder, but uh, most don't. I'm not sure what settings I changed at some point. To unzip your fonts, you're going to want to uh, right click on them and say extract all and then tell it where to put it. In this case, I'm putting it in the exact same directory as the original folder. And once they're unzipped, we can um, install those fonts, access them, and install them. This is our FontSpring package. We want to use the fonts that are in the folder called fonts, not web fonts. They won't work, obviously. And uh, find your font. If you click on it, it's going to bring up your uh, font viewer. And up in the top left hand corner is this button called install. And if you click that, it's going to validate it and install it. Essentially all it's doing is adding the font to your font folder. Uh, I'm going to show you where that folder is. If we uh, go to our hard drive here, your folder is located in the Windows folder and it's called Fonts. If I open this up, this is showing me all the fonts that are installed on this computer. Now some operating systems are a little different. Um, I'll leave it up to you to go ahead and um, uh, Google this directory if you have a different operating system. But essentially, every computer has a font folder, and all you're actually doing is adding your font to the font folder, and your system knows what to do with it once it's in there. So let me go ahead and demonstrate. I'll open up this veneer uh, regular and click install, and as soon as I do, we're going to see it pop right up here in your font folder. It was that easy. It's also as easy as taking your font and dragging it in there as well. It does the exact same thing. The first one's a little easier. You don't have to remember where your font folder is, but uh, either one will definitely work. So we'll come over here, get our thirsty script. You can take all of them if you prefer, drag them all in at once, and that's it. That is how to install fonts on Windows 7. So let's go ahead and open up some editing software and make sure that we actually got those installed. If you attempt to use your fonts and they're not showing up in your software, um, you may want to try closing your software and reopening it. If the software was open at the time that you installed your fonts, it may not recognize the fonts in your font folder. It's a good habit to close all your software that you're going to use prior um, just to avoid any problems. And there you go, we have Thirsty Script and we also have Veneer. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Remember, not all font licenses are created equal. Don't buy your fonts elsewhere and regret it later. Buy your fonts from FontSpring with confidence.